730. It is so important to encourage young children to read, and we found a Pierce County librarian who is truly exceptional at it. Her method of finding books for the kids is unconventional. Camos Denise Whitaker shows us Mrs. Nelson's library. Road Hog Drove. Where did he drive? Pint sized readers learning new words at Pacific Christian Academy. Mia forgets her tutu. Mia forgets her tutu's too big. The accelerated reader program's online testing proves what they've learned. Librarian Pam Nelson keeps track with number of books passed and words read. Her helpers here are parents and her vast puppet collection. Libro. The library buddy. But the work to curate these shelves is Mrs. Nelson's alone, building it from a literal closet that stored just 1,900 books to today's space, busting at the seams with more than 8,000 titles. There had been a library. Um, over a decade ago, our um, librarian was released because of economics. You might be shocked to learn this book lover did it all by spending her Saturdays scouring the shelves at local Goodwill stores. I think the craziest splurge of a weekend was about $38. The average public elementary school has about 27 books per student in their library. This school, Mrs. Nelson's now made, has 43 books per student. And if you buy in bulk through Goodwill, the average cost is 43 cents a book. In Federal Way, Denise Whitaker, Como News. Mrs. Nelson believes so much in Goodwill's mission of education for free that she caught their attention and she just won the Bring Good Home Award. She got a $500 Goodwill gift card she can use to keep building her Pacific Christian Library. Oh, the best part of these sunny 